Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? I haven't planned on it. So you expect me to show What's the this? burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, We're work. never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? With that chain in it. It might give him some comfort. At least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Is somebody meeting me here? I certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. Uh, I guess you're expecting me? Is anyone here? Hello?
Excuse me, where am I? Heaven, friend. 
Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Let's keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. for a redeemer. Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? This day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the Sodom beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough if the prophet had just purged the vipers of the Orient, but not suffered the sacrifice of his beloved. It would have been enough if the prophet had just suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, but not expelled the vox populi. It would have been enough. Is it someone new? Someone from the sodden below? Newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. <laughs> Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Hey, I'm just looking to pass through. Glory be. <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. There. Bring us the curb and wipe away the dead. What do you want? We had a deal to it. Open this door right now. I told you. I'm not gonna do it. Now go away. Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. Idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. 
to Father Franklin a key of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father Jefferson, a scroll, so that Eden might have laws that set her above all other nations. And so each year we recommit ourselves to our founders and our prophet, Father Comstock. And, and recommit to, to our, our prophet, prophet, Father, Father Comstock. Comstock, so that we may follow in the prophet's path. Amen. Amen. Our prophet fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels, watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and doubt, so that I may hold fast against all invaders. Father Washington, hear my prayer. Paragon of virtue, a rebel against ignorance and tyranny, share with me your wisdom and let the light of your good judgment shine like a beacon through the darkness. Father Jefferson, hear my prayer. By the sword, sword and the scroll, and the key. key. Amen. Is no chance, no luck. Only providence, and that you see its divine hand at work, you discern the transmundane. Your inspiration and imagination transcend mere science and open our eyes to the mystery. Well, just because the city flies, don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right, still got a girl to find. of our dear lady Comstock, our beloved mother of forgiveness. Oh, that statue, I, I just think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute, you know, divinity. Hmm? Like does not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for preference, only duty. Uh, it's Latin. It means... Latin.
Homestall's all right, I tell you. Says he's in faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh-huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh-huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired, that, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man, don't tell me about details, just get it done. Mm-hmm. You almost finished down there? Yes, sir. Citizen, you're looking fit. Columbia Raffle and Fair. A bit weak in the key of the scroll, if you get my meaning. Warm temperatures system, eh? and light variable winds throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. See you coming down the street. I'll you very confidently.
shown nothing to me. So, so what good would living do me? God only knows what I'd be without you. We're raising money for the Girls' Patriotic League. A different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed unto the eyes of man. into some faint and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Vox Popula, now do I? Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence, stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. New tax. Good day to you, sir. Hello. I agree. Keep saying that. If I told you a man Should we go in? A one -ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Look at her. She's... So you know you gotta be somebody now. Hello there, friend. You gonna let me through here, pal? Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to Kingdom Come. Again. We're out of block. Better find another way around. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. 
Those are no tall tales told behind the pool. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are biggers I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the bigger? One swing and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your Look fingers. This. You dirty know boxer what again. Again. is there. The Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Young sir, yeah. young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Find the devil, good sir, and cast him out. Do you have what it takes? <laughs>
Boxophone, Boxophone. Hear your voice from the past and the present. I usually wait till Fink works out the kinks with him. It's safer that way. Say something, Sonny. What's a Boxophone? What's a Boxophone? Exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Hot dogs, hot dogs, Alexander hot dogs, Columbia's finest, worth every cent. Have you used one yet? Oh my, no. Oh. I have. Liar. Honest. Nearly <laughs> blew the windows out of my house. Red Hot Hot Dogs! Make a Colombian is out of ditty. Fly. Recite poetry for your little lady and play an ad in the box. Oh, 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 Step right up and see the eighth wonder of the world. He's big. He's bold. He's the amazing handyman. Only in our fair city will you see such amazing feats of technological prowess. Have you ever seen anything like it? He looks so sad. Sad? When you're that strong, what's there to be sad about? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Have you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Has a pay telephone ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. Give me one of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. <laughs> Press to turn machines into allies. What the hell was that? Let me through. Heads. Or tails. Huh. Tails. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Just fine to me. Mary, you are a living, walking scandal. I hear the Father Franklin machines will be taking in new stock soon. Model? 
Lady Comstock, of course. The, the prophet, prophet bless her and keep her. This little beauty? Ah, the whole division got them. We're gonna flush the Vox out of the Skyline system. Uh, we gotta have the best. Uh -huh. We got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust That's some Vox go. <laughs> your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you are allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. Like I've waited all year for this. I'm ready. 